I've been using my MacBook Pro for the past six years and to be honest, surprisingly, it's still running strong as my daily driver. I don't know how many people are still using such an old device, but if you are out there, kudos to you, mate. I don't like to disconnect my MacBook until it's fully charged. So for this particular reason, I never needed to touch the MagSafe connector when it is charging. Like literally since owning it till now, I never came across this scenario until recently. I never realized how hot the connector actually gets when it's charging. Is it normal? Stereotypically, I've worked in a Chinese takeaway before and I've been hit by fire, hot oil and boiling water before. And sometimes these things happen accidentally too. I'm just kidding. Anyway, I'm pretty good at taking the heat, but I can't keep my finger on this plug for more than like a second. It's super hot and I don't mean it in a good way. Apparently, it could be a potential fire hazard as seen from these examples. According to some basic electrical theory, there are three main reasons for electrical overheating that can lead to electrical fires, excessive current, insulation breakdown, or just poor connections. If the insulation on the connector looks fine, that leaves me with either a potential poor connection or excessive current, maybe even both. Did you know that the pins are actually spring-loaded? I always assumed they were fixed. The pins looked fine, not covered in gunk or anything. However, as it turns out, it is possible that the pins might get stuck, causing more current to be drawn through one side only. I used a plastic ruler with the adapter disconnected, of course, to push them in a few times, hoping to try and loosen it as well as cleaning it with some alcohol just to make sure. First of all, I'm happy to say that I didn't break anything. Question is, did it make a difference? I don't have any way of measuring the temperature accurately, but it definitely feels less hot now to touch. So I guess it made a difference. Some people have reported uh, charging issues when they've noticed that the LED wouldn't light up, but personally, I don't have this particular problem, which could also be related to stuck pins if you have such a problem where the MacBook wouldn't charge. So maybe give that a try. I'm not sure if I should be concerned or not. It's not burned, hasn't caused any issue so far. Maybe it's normal under heavy load and it's still charging, but clearly some people have had their MagSafe connector or the MacBook charging port singed. So that's definitely not all right. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I don't know how many people still are on these older MacBook Airs Pros uh, with these particular MagSafe connectors. But may I suggest you take a quick look just to see if they are clean, to see if there any of the pins are stuck or if there are burnt marks on them, just to be sure. I really don't want anyone else out there to have a fire hazard by not knowing this. Like me, despite using my MacBook for over half a decade. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. My name is Joe. Thank you very much for watching as always. And please let me know if you have any information about this particular topic down below. And I'll catch you in the... Next one.